Welcome back. Today we're going to look at the sort of exam questions that you might face when looking at Half-Life. To remind you, uh, the Half-Life is the time taken on average for half of the atoms in an unstable nucleus to decay. Also, we can use Half-Life to talk about the rate of activity uh, of a sample and how quickly that decays, or the mass of an unstable isotope. And we'll look at both of those in a second. Okay, so to update our definition, I can also say uh, that a half-life is the time taken on average for the activity of the sample to half, or I can say that it's the time taken on average for the mass of the unstable sample to fall by half. Okay, so what do I mean by the activity of a radioactive sample. The activity is the measure of the number of radioactive decays per second. And it's given this unit Becquerel after the French physicist Henri Becquerel. Um, so you can just write one BQ. So one decay per second is one Becquerel. So for example, if, uh, if a radioactive isotope has 120 decays in one minute, that's 120 decays in 60 seconds, that means that every second there are two decays. So the activity of that sample would be two Becquerels. We can use the half-life to work out how long it takes the activity to fall by half. If I have a sample that has an activity of 100 Becquerels, uh, the half-life could also be the time taken for the activity to fall to 50 Becquerels. For example. I've set up here an example question that you might face in your exams. It says a sample X has a half-life of six days. If there were initially 10,000 atoms in the sample, complete the graph to estimate the time taken for the number of atoms to fall to a thousand atoms. And there are four marks available for this sort of question. You'll get two marks for correctly plotting all of the points, and one if you make maybe one or two mistakes. Um, perhaps a third mark for drawing an accurate curve of best fit, and then a final mark for using that to identify the time taken to fall uh, to a thousand atoms. Firstly, we need to plot the data that we know. We know that initially there were 10,000 atoms, so after zero days, so we've got to do the zero again, after zero days, there were 10,000 atoms. One half-life is six days. So after six days, the number of atoms would have halved, so fallen to 5,000. So sort of try and plot that there. And about six, somewhere in there. That doesn't look too bad, like so. Bear in mind that I'm not actually using graph paper, which isn't very precise, so you're going to have to bear with me here. Um, after another six days, so from six to 12 days, the number of atoms would have fallen from 5,000 to 2,500, which if uh, 3,000 is going to be about there, then two, okay. Now half of 2,500 is 1,250, so after another six days, the number of atoms would have fallen to 1,250. So now 1,250 atoms is not uh, fewer than a thousand, so we need to do another half-life, we need to plot another data point. Half of 1,250 is 675. Now bear in mind that on your graph paper you'll get a little bit more detail than I'm doing, but hopefully I'm getting across the skill that you need to do. So, Oh, not amazing. Kind of missed that last point, so maybe I wouldn't get the full marks. And then I want to know how long did it take for the number of atoms to fall below a thousand. So I'm going to draw across from a thousand, which is halfway between naught and two thousand there. According to my graph drawing, we've got to a thousand atoms at 19 days. So using the graph, that's my answer to the question. Where do I pick up the marks? I pick up two marks for making sure that all my points were plotted accurately. I pick up a third mark for the line of best fit and a fourth mark for the 
answer. So there's quite a lot of skills you need to use there. The question I've got here is typical of one you could face in your exam. It says that nitrogen 13 has a half-life of 10 minutes. Now suppose the activity of the nitrogen 13, so the number of counts per second, number of decays per second, was 750 becquerels. What would the activity of the nitrogen 13 sample be after 40 minutes? Okay, now when faced with questions like this, there's a lot of, you could do a lot of doubling and halving in your head and um, there's a lot of room for mistakes. Now I always tell my students when you're dealing with a half-life question to lay all the information you know out in a table and then from there you can work out the information that you need to know. I've got my table here and I'm ready to fill in things that I already know from the question. I've got half-lives, number of half-lives that have passed, uh, the time for those half-lives to have passed and in this question we're looking at the activity of the sample. I already know that initially after no half-lives and no minutes have passed that the activity was 750 uh, becquerels, so the units becquerels there. Now after one half-life, one half-life is 10 minutes, and I know that a half-life is the time taken for the activity to fall by half, so half of 750 is 375. So I can fill in that much information. After two half-lives, the time that's passed in minutes is 20 minutes. Uh, the activity is 187.5. Remember, you can use your calculator in the physics exams. After three half-lives, the time taken will be 30 minutes. Another 10 minutes, three half-lives, 30 minutes. And the number of counts per second, uh, that is 93.75. And finally, uh, the next half-life, four half-lives, 40 minutes. And I can half again, oh, that's minus, half again. And that gives me 46.875. There we are, I've worked my way to the answer that I need in this table format, because the question is asking me, what will the activity of the sample be in 40 minutes? So we've reached 40 minutes. What is the activity after 40 minutes? Well, that's 46.875. You could get away with rounding that to 46.9, for example. 46.9 becquerels. Now, 750 over 4 is not... 46.9 becquerels, it's 187.5. So be careful, don't just look at that and go, well, that's four half-lives in 40 minutes, so I'll divide my number by four. You're halving and halving and halving and halving each time. So actually, if this is a half, that's a quarter, that's an eighth, that's one sixteenth of 750. So be careful, a very easy source of errors. Here's a slightly trickier one still, but again, if we follow the same process, we'll get to the answer. It says a sample of carbon-11, which is an isotope of carbon, has a mass of 600 grams. After 80 minutes, the mass of the sample has fallen to 37.5 grams. What is the half-life of isotope carbon-11? So we now need to use the information we've got to work out the half-life, how long it takes for half of the mass to decay. So let's set out the table again. We've got half-life, the thing we're after. We've got time, and this time we're working in minutes. And we've got mass in grams this time. So before I've had activity, I've had number of atoms, and this time I'm gonna work with mass, and it's the same steps, the same process. Let's draw out the grid. There's no half-lives. Uh, time, we know that's zero, and the mass initially is 600 grams. Okay, after one half-life, the mass would have fallen to 300 grams. After two half-lives, that would have fallen to 150. After three, that would have fallen to uh, 75. 
and after four half-lives, that would have fallen to 37 and a half. Now, this is the number we are working with in the question, 37.5 grams. Now, we know that it took 80 minutes to get to 37.5 grams. So in that 80 minutes, four half-lives have passed. 80 minutes, four half-lives. So we can work out that each half-life, the answer to the question, must be 80 divided by four equals 20 minutes. That's the answer to our half-life. Each half-life is 20 minutes. I don't think that was too bad, but then again, I am a teacher of physics. Make sure you practice these, find out these sorts of questions, BBC Bite Size, Free Science Lessons, wherever you can get your hands on questions, do so and keep practicing. Good luck. Days, if there are initially a thousand, try again, shall I? Because there aren't initially a thousand atoms. I made up the question, I can't even get it right. By half again, so <laughs> I don't know. 375 over 2. You want to do that in your head for me?